So to summarize what we're going to talk about today, um, often as a manufacturer, it's critical to engage and enable the partners that sell your products. They're a critical link between your products, your staff, and your customers. Um, and regardless of what reseller or distributor model you work in, Dynamics 365 and the Power Platform enable you to build tools and processes to engage your resellers and to enable their performance. So some of the things we're going to talk about today is first and foremost, modeling your resellers, your distributor network into your sales system. That's the root of what your resellers and your distributors do for you. So enable you need to do that to enable leveraging all the digital technologies and capabilities of the Microsoft ecosystem. So we're going to start there. Second, using Dynamics 365 for customer service to support and assist your distributors using the same tools you'd use to support your customers or your employees. Next, using Dynamics 365 for marketing to keep your distributors informed and educated about your products and services. As we'll say a million times, if they are informed and excited about your products, they will do a better job in selling them. And then last, how do we extend all of that um, out through portals or power, power apps um, applications to provide and collect information and analytics and to create collaborative channels like chat or SMS to, to enable communications. So really, this is the way we want to extend what we built already in our Dynamics 365 customer engagement apps or power apps, power platform apps out to your distributor network who are really sort of an extension of your staff or at the same time an extension of your customer base. So as we said, here's a simple visual. Um, distributors sit squarely in between your product and your marketing and sales teams primarily, or your finance teams and your customers. They really act like a customer in that they buy your products and um, resell them. So they sort of act both as an internal employee in selling your products, but also act as a customer in buying those project products. So today, really what we're covering is how we build and enable engagement to create positive experiences for not just your customers, not just employees, but your resellers. So <clears throat> some stats to start out with that come from a Harvard Business Review study um, recently. 82% of manufacturing executives say COVID-19 cause their organization to change how it engages with customers via digital tools. We've seen it on top of this whole surge of digital transformation, what COVID has done to change the way we do business every day, omnichannel, different mechanism for buying and selling, et cetera. One quarter, 26% of manufacturing executives say they are highly likely to invest in personalized products and services to support their customer experience strategy. Very telling stats from a very legitimate survey giving feedback about how important it is to increase this engagement. <clears throat> More high level, really what is customer engagement? What is a customer experience and employee experiments experience? It's about engaging customers. <clears throat> with a positive experience. And when you do that, they'll buy more and they become advocates of your brand and your company. And you cannot really have customer ex experience without first enabling your employees to better engage your customers. So really, at, at, a, at the simplest level, customer experience is the overall perception and sentiment that your customers have of your company based on all the cumulative interactions they have with you. Customer engagement, on the other hand, are all those actions and strategies that you take to create that positive experience. It could be submitting an order, it could be browsing your website, it could be getting technical support or reading trade show publications, et cetera. Um, all those things that customers do and distributors do as sort of a customer of your organization. And then really, I love this. Really, what we're talking about is digital transformation. I love this definition. Digital transformation is the process of using digital technologies to create new or modify existing business processes, culture, and customer experiences to meet changing business and marketing requirements. That says it all. And it's really a reimagining of business in the digital age. Great. 
great definition. So really, we're going to start here with some very high level general tips in finding your ever evolving employee or distributor or customer experience. Um, and really, that ever evolving is important as you change, as you design new products, as you grow, as you scale, this experience strategy needs to change and grow with you. So first, a recommendation is survey your distributors, survey your resellers. What are their pain points? What can you provide them so they work better? Get their feedback. Second, foster collaboration and provide tools to improve communications. Like so many things in this world, better communication, better collaboration, provide better results. And we're going to talk about some ideas around that today. Define your business process intelligence. If there is a process, a framework to work with, and your distributors and your resellers can leverage that process, they're going to perform better, but they're also going to be able to use that intelligence to become better within that process. Reduce inefficiencies and repetitive tasks. We're going to talk a lot about that today. And these just litter business processes. But if your distributors or resellers are out making notes on paper or napkins or doing it in spreadsheets and then going home or off to the hotel and then retyping things into email or into other systems, they're likely not having the most positive experience doing business with your company. And then last, extending your company's services, which again, we'll talk about today. The same services you provide your customers and your employees, you should be uh, providing to your distributors. So as promised, we're going to start by talking about your sales system. In Dynamics, it's Dynamics 365 for sales, a system to improve efficiency in your sales process, drive sales growth, model your sales teams, build and model your sales processes, and enable your sellers with the latest digital technologies. Tremendous platform and the, and the heart of any CRM system. So when we talk about this modeling your distributors into your sales system, here's some of the things we're talking about, some of the things we've done for, for customers, especially our manufacturing customers up to this point. Um, first of all, first and foremost, rooted in account and contact management. Who are your distributors? Who are the companies? Who are the individuals? How do they like to communicate? What are their emails? What are their phone numbers? You know. Where are they located? Modeling who they are, who and what they are into the system is the foundation for everything. So if you don't have your distributors or, re or resellers modeled into your system, it's a good place to start. Maybe you're registering certain product lines or industries that you sell to, to your resellers. Uh, maybe it's, but many of our customers also have internal sales teams whose sole purpose is to enable their distributors or enable their resellers. So that sales team alignment to your resellers and your distributors is a critical part of modeling your system. Maybe it's aligning them by territory. Often we see some regions or territories heavily or almost exclusively rely on distributors to sell their product where other territories or regions rely more on internal or um, company sales teams or a combination of those. So modeling that location and territory and regions is an important way of modeling your sales system. Driving distributor analytics, like we said, model that analytics so you can extend it out and show your distributors how well they're doing. Managing your contract details. You don't have a distributor typically without writing a contract with them. So some of those those factors, some of those details of those contracts are important in terms of how you maybe register product lines or industries or how you align sales teams or territories to them. Automating lead assignment, um, that's a process you build into your sales system. And when you build your distributors and resellers into it, you can um, extend that lead assignment notification out to them. Other things like streamlining process approval and discounts, often some of those inefficiencies are found in these custom processes or these exceptions to your processes. When you build that into your system, you can also extend that out to your distributors. So hopefully that's some good ideas. Obviously a ton more ideas out there. These are some of the common things, some of the things to get you, get your ideas, um, your juices flowing in terms of that building that baseline sales system. Um, 
to start to extend out to your resellers. Next, um, once you have that foundation, you can extend it. And typically, this is what the Power Platform is for. Power Platform is a low-code platform for building rap rapidly building customized end-to-end -end business solutions um, using Power Apps, Power Automate to automate workflow and processes, Power BI for analytics, Power Virtual Agents we'll talk about, and Power Pages, Portals, which is what we're going to talk a lot about now because excuse me one of the most common ways to extend out to distributors or to resellers is to build a distributor portal and there are a ton of things you can do with the distributor portal to enable them first of all as i mentioned sending notifications or uh, publishing lead assignment and new prospect assignment out to distributors Quote creation, we're going to look at a good, a good example here of actually creating, once you get to that point in the pipeline, creating quotes on a portal to then perhaps be reviewed by an internal staff or your finance system or your product teams, um, and then submitting those quotes as orders to streamline that quote to order process. Or maybe it's just seeing order history that they've, um, orders that they've placed in the past to know recurring orders or going and visit recurring customers, et cetera. Accessing knowledge bases over um, a power app or a power portal is a huge advantage. Again, we talk about keeping your resellers and distributors informed about products or how to fix a product or problems you have with products. We're going to talk about how to leverage that in a number of ways when we're talking about customer service, um, but it's a great way to extend over a portal. Chatting with engineers. One thing you get with a portal is you get authenticated login so you know who you're who you're interacting with when they log into a portal. And so putting sometimes a chat, maybe a custom developed chat engine um, with engineers is a powerful way to provide support to your distributors. We mentioned those contracts, you can publish those contract details out in through Power Apps or Power Portals, et cetera. And then a really good example I wanted to show, talk about is, is managing and publishing warranty or return information, um, RMAs on a portal. We built kind of a, a nice solution where that RMA is created, um, approved by internal staff, and that process is, is, is updated through this portal. Um, and then a work order is created for that distributor to go pick up uh, a return product and supply them with a new one. Another good example of driving collaboration and communication with your distributors um, through a portal. Here's some screen prints, a portal we worked on with a customer who has a very extensive um, sales process that they drive with their external resellers through a portal. Their leads are assigned. They manage their opportunity pipeline, that sales pipeline, all using this portal, extending again that sales system. They can submit custom design requests, which might might trigger some service activity. They create quotes and revise those quotes and get approval and they push those quotes into a final order that goes straight to their finance department. So you can see on this screen here, we have an opportunity and those resellers actually come in and create their own opportunities, tracking the sales stage and the probability, et cetera, the typical things you see in an opportunity pipeline. And then you can see down here, they can actually put in um, requests for custom design um, products um, that don't fall in their out of the box um, product catalogs. Here's an example that same customer um, highlighting and, and itemizing the product um, associated with a quote, things like links to, to drill into more detailed product information. And then the final screen automatically generating that report from a finalized approved quote, entering order detail and pushing that off. So again, this is a powerful way we talk about building that base foundation in your sales system, but extending it out. And we, we do this not just through portals, but a lot of times through a custom power app, a quoting app or a CPQ type power app, all are ways um, to extend that power of, of, of the sales system out to external users. So next, supporting your distributors. 
through Dynamics 365 for customer service. Um, customer service system, a, a really hot application in the Dynamics platform, is really to boost the levels of customer care and, and satisfaction with customer support. It allows you to extend your service offerings in an omnichannel manner, which we'll talk about, and enable support across your organization and across all your partner networks. Powerful platform. So what are some of the ways we can use that platform um, to support your distributors? First and foremost, very simple. Oftentimes you have a ticketing system for your customers. Oftentimes a distributor will want to help and support um, your customers, people that buy your products. So extending that ticketing system directly out to distributors and customizing that specifically for distributors, as I, you see on the screen here, maybe extending or using deflection or getting a customized distributor knowledge base um, to work with that ticketing system is powerful, a powerful way to, to support your resellers. Open a voice channel. We're going to see some screen prints on, on how we did that for our customer. A dedicated voice channel when your distributors maybe are out on site, they need a quick answer about a product or something um, to close a deal, um, opening that voice channel. Or a virtual agent, again, with knowledge base. Your virtual agents can learn and become smart about your products, your past cases with your product or um, engineering specs, et cetera. But that virtual agent can be a source for your distributors to go and quick ask questions and get responses immediately if uh, an agent or a support rep is not available. Or opening like SMS or live chat lines for your distributors. These are all ways in Dynamics customer service omnichannel for ways to give multiple avenues, multiple channels to support not only your customers, but again, extend that support and service out to your distributors who act like a customer and also act like an employee. So a couple of screen prints here, um, pretty simple, but this is a screen showing how, how we created a custom dedicated voice channel for their distributors, as well as a dedicated voice channel for parts and service information that distributors leverage. The next screen shows this distributor priority voice line, how, how you can define the behaviors of that when they call in, maybe IVR settings, choosing, you know, press one for this option, press two for this option. You can do all of that. There's ways to, to determine routing rules to queues. Do you want to go to a product person or a salesperson or a support person? And then really defining the behavior um, and of that of that call interaction. So powerful, again, a powerful example of how you can use your existing dynamic system to reach out and leverage and support and make doing business um, with your distributors easy and efficient and a positive experience. Next, let me check my time. But um, using marketing. Um, Mark Dynamics 365 marketing comes combines the worlds of customer experience. It's the core of building and generating information to create a positive customer experience and marketing automation. Um, really to strengthen relationships, strengthen your communication and earn loyalty between your partners and your employees and your customers, et cetera. Very powerful system. So what are these ways we can inform, educate, and enable your resellers? Because again, the more educated they are, the more connected they feel with your company, the more they're going to sell and drive profits. So really, it's about getting the right message at the right time to the right person. That jumps down kitty corner to this real-time marketing concept. And it's not just anymore nowadays about spamming people with emails and hoping they open the emails. It's really about reacting to um, actions that your customers or your distributors or your resellers take and then responding to those. So if they visit a website or log a ticket or um, interact with a chat session, your marketing system should know that 
And if you have them in a journey, it may advance them along a journey or it may trigger an email response or a notification of some sort. So this concept of right time, right message to the right person and real time marketing is powerful. And again, a powerful way of of supporting your resellers. Maybe it's maybe it's um, publishing new product announcements or trade journal content, whether it's on on um, you know custom emails that you send out or website pages. All of it allows you to track which distributors or resellers are engaging with your product assets and your sales assets and responding accordingly to that. Another powerful way of using marketing um, is events management. A great way to build your partnerships, to build trust and knowledge and inform your resellers are to hold conferences or regional sales meetings are very common. These events can be planned organized people can register for them you can publish web pages where you see who's interacting with those web pages all around events management a powerful system i'm going to show you a screen print for really great way to engage and then really all of this is about driving distributor engagement using that real those real-time analytics to know what products are selling, what products you may need work on selling, what distributors might need more education, et cetera. It's all about distributor engagement. So here's some screen prints. Here's how you write a segmentation. And, and I should have mentioned this before, but if you build your peop your distributors or resellers into your CRM system, then you can segment them. You can put them in buckets so you know how to communicate to them. You know how to um, create analytics for them. And these are called segments in marketing. And you can see up here, you can create segments based on the location of someone, or maybe it's their contract details as a distributor. Maybe it's their territory assignment that makes that allows you to bucket your distributors into segments. And then on the bottom, you can see, you can preview the estimated segment size and membership of that. So you know you have it right. It's a powerful way to bucket. And then you move them into journeys or email campaigns, et cetera, using those segments. Again, right time, right people. <clears throat> what am I missing? Right time, right message, right person. And then here's the events management. You can see you can build your whole event process into planning, creating agendas, um, creating the website, uh, um, organizing, launching the event, sending notifications the whole time, maybe their SMS or tech uh, um, or emails, and then even post event follow up surveys. We talked about the importance of that. And then this screen here, you can see you literally use dynamics to configure a website and publish a website for that event where people can come and register for the event, look at the agendas, et cetera. So another great, some great examples, many, many more examples out there um, to show how now dynamics marketing can help you support your distributor channel. So as I mentioned in the beginning, this is fast. We've covered a lot in a very short amount of time. All your just, you know, everyone's distributor or reseller model is different. We're not talking about anything specific today, but this system is built. It's a development platform to it gives you the Lego pieces out of the box, but Stone Ridge can help you put those Lego pieces together to work the way you work. No new software investments. You've got dynamics, you've got power platform. Use that, leverage that to enable your resellers. Microsoft makes this stuff easier than ever before and more affordable than ever before to build things like chatbots or portals. So leverage that. Increase profits. Again, if you do this and enable your resellers, build their partnership, build their knowledge, your profits and your growth will go up. And again, market intelligence. The more you engage the people that are your partners, the more you interact with them, collaborate with them, get their feedback, you get tenfold back that market intelligence. And again, the cross investment in digital transformation. This is what digital transformation is about. Reimagining your partnerships, the way you collaborate, the way you communicate, and the way you grow and become better.